All right, let's just get this part out of the way right now because, yeah, I know she looks familiar. <laughs> Millions around the world may know my next guest as Jane Mancini from the hit television show Melrose Place, but she's also graced just dozens of magazine covers, appeared in countless other projects, gracing both the big and small screens, including The Secret Life of the American Teenager, and she's also an accomplished author to boot. But her greatest role to date mom. Here to talk about our own balancing act is the beautiful and talented Josie Bissett. Good morning Hi. to you, Josie. Good morning. So good to see you. How are you? How's life? Everything is great. No complaints. Yeah. Yes. Getting it, keeping it moving. Keeping huh? it moving. Yeah. Life is busy. I'm so glad it is. And you know, because it's interesting, I'm sure a lot of people do still remember you from Melrose Place, which means you did your job well. Yes. Right? That they still remember yeah. you. But do you ever get tired of hearing about Melrose Place? You know, I actually don't because I just, it was such a great time in my life and it was a great, it was just a show that people, like you said, people remembered. And there's yeah. something about that time that seemed easier. I don't know if it was because you know, everyone was in college during right. the time that we're watching it. And now we're, you know, older and have children, so we have more responsibilities. But um, I still really like it. I yeah. had such a great time, so it brings back memories. When you see yourself, like in reruns, and you see yourself, you know, back then, what do you think? Do you think, okay, if I knew then what I know now, or do you think I look, you know, I'm more beautiful now than I was then? You know, because, you know, with maturity, you get a certain perspective that you don't have. Right, that's, that's very true. It's really hard to watch myself. Really? I, I can't do it. I mean, it's, I cringe There's, for multiple reasons. One is, you know, I, I, I look different. I mean, you, I grew, grew out and cut my hair, I don't know how many times on that show. Right. So I had the little pixie shortcut, which I'm known for, and people still think that I had my hair short the entire time, but I really didn't. I grew it and cut it constantly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the clothes are hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I High bet. High waisted jeans. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. mom jeans. We would call oh, those mom jeans yes, today. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, but your life really does seem to be very full uh, since Melrose Place, and we talked a little bit about it in the intro. And we know one of your passions is being a super mom, and we're in that club together because you know you have children. I have three boys. Tell me about the kids. My kids are getting old. My son is twelve now. He's twelve. And, yeah. And so when Melrose ended, I was actually five months pregnant with him. Okay. So that's kind of how I know how long ago actually Miller's was on and then it was on for seven years. Did we know you were pregnant in that last Yes. Month? We did. Yes. All right. They didn't have to hide you behind yeah, any which cabinets. Which husband or... was that? Which I was boyfriend? trying to figure out. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> um, yeah. So they're in my daughter's nine. Maya's mm. nine. And uh, they're just awesome. And like you said, I mean, our kids are just, they, they're my life. And my work centers around being a mom and the jobs I take center around does it work for my family and for my kids and, mm -hmm. and that's kind of how I roll is what works best for my kids will work best for me. Well you and I did talk a little bit about that off camera how our lives have evolved has have evolved and changed so much because we know that our job our first job is to be a mom is to yes. be a parent to our children. And and I know that you went through a divorce because you were married to actor Rob Estes. Right, maybe that was the one who got me pregnant on was the show. Was that the one on, <laughs> on the show? I think, okay. I think it was Kyle. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. But you know, how is life for you as a single mom? And, and now you've got a blended family, and now let's talk about the dating thing. Yes, well, there's a lot of questions there. Let me start with the first one, okay. which is Rob. Um, we're great, I mean, he's remarried. He just had a baby. He lives five minutes from from me wow. and we share the kids 50 50 and we have really managed to create a great situation and you know I always tell people when they ask me because I have a lot of friends and you know pe people that I know that are going through a divorce if you just in your head continually think and ask yourself what is best for the children always mm -hmm. what is best for the children in every situation because it's hard um, everything about divorce is hard but if you really keep that in mind it can be okay and they love being at both homes and they're very grounded and they're centered and everyone's good. Was it hard then to go from being in this, you know, marriage and then going, you know, into being a single mom and then going into dating? I mean, what is what is that like after yeah. being married for a number of years? I was yeah, when we were married for thirteen I met him when I was nineteen. I think that's part you know, I always tell my daughter and my son, you cannot get married till you're at least 28 or over, maybe even 30. And, and Which means I, they're going to be 21, yeah. right? They're going to like... <laughs> yeah. I know, I just think it's really important to grow up and know sure. who you are before you make such a big decision. And um, mm -hmm. I was young, I was 21 when I got married. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, but, what, and then the dating, dating's hilarious. I mean, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't date for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I really, I didn't want to bring anyone into their life. 
Rob and I had made an agreement together that we would not bring anyone into their life unless there was a really good possibility we would be with that person. So I didn't even feel like dating. You know, a lot of people get divorced or can't wait to get out and party. You know, I just, all I wanted to do was just take care of my kids and mm -hmm. take care of myself and work. And I just really hunkered down for a good two or three years. Did you really? Yeah. 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 Are you dating anyone now? And I am dating okay. someone now. <laughs> yes, yes. And he's a great guy. And I'm pretty non-traditional in a sense. Like he's got, he does have a, two kids and they're older, um, 17 and 14. And we don't live together. I don't. You don't live together. We do not live together, and I think blending families is is di very very difficult. So when I did, and I read a lot, and I like to read all the parenting books, and I like to, I wanted to know what happens after you get divorced. How sure. are the kids affected? What happens when I date? What what do I do? I wanted to do it right, you mm -hmm. know, after mm -hmm. everything they had been mm -hmm. through. And uh, I had found out by my research that second marriages, 67% of second marriages fail. 67. Really? So if we're at 50% now, mm -hmm. which might be a little For higher, first marriages, yeah. second marriages are higher. So why is that? They're saying it's just blending families. It's really, really difficult. Stay with us. More with the beautiful Josie Bissett when the Balancing Act continues. Welcome back. Josie Bissett is more than just a pretty face. She's a mom, she's an actress, and she's an author. Well, let's go from, from the acting to uh, becoming an author, because that's the other incredible thing about you. You know, these are your, your children's books here, which I absolutely love, Tickle Thank Monster you. and Boogie Monster. Did your children inspire you to write the books? Yes, definitely. Well, my first first two books that I did, Little Bits of Wisdom and Making Memories. Little Bits of Wisdom, I asked parents around the world to write into me and send me their most favorite tips, something they wish someone had told them kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So the whole book is a compilation of real parents' favorite parenting tip, mm -hmm. and I wanted to share that. And Making Memories is just the same format, but it's about creating family rituals and traditions people are sharing what they have done. Mm. So those are for parents. Then Tickle Monster is a book that I wrote when Mason, my son, who's 12 now, was two. And I was tickling him and it just, Look the story, the story just flew out and I went, I put him to bed, I ran, wrote it all down. Yeah. And then life got busy and then I finished it like seven years later. Oh God, yeah, life got really busy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's an interactive book. The parent puts the tickle monster gloves on, and what kid doesn't like to be tickled and sure. chased? And, and uh, so throughout the book, the tickle monster tickles a little bunny in it, and um, kids just love it. And it's it's interactive, and my my whole hope behind it was to bring the parent and child together, bonding, laughing, creating a memory. Oh, that, those memories are so important. And you know, these books, all of the books, have been so well received. Um, they've been named among the best family products for Mom's uh, Choice Awards, among other honors. What do you think makes these books different from other children's books that are out there? Well, it's because they're they're interactive. They're getting kids, particularly uh, Boogie Monster is, is this one is getting kids moving. Ah. This one is creating a bond, like I just said. That's what makes them different. And I'm telling you, one thing I have learned while writing books, kids love an accessory. Yes. They want something else with their book. Remember, like, you know when you go through the Scholastic book, they yeah, have yeah, like a yeah. little necklace or right, a little, right, like, right, that's right, what right. you want? Yeah. Same kind of theory. This one comes with a CD. Mm -hmm. And um, the kids put these little things on and they dance. Oh, how fun. Yeah, so and it gets them up and moving. Gets them up and moving, and the book takes them through just being free. There's no right or wrong way to dance. You don't have to dance perfect, you just get to dance. Mm, I love so. that. That is so fun. And, you know, I have to brag uh, about you just a little bit more because you have also been honored as Celebrity Mom of the Year by Mom's Choice Awards. Very impressive. Oh, that was a nice, nice honor, you know. What's better than being honored for being a mom? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think the thing that, that most people may not know about you is that you are a huge advocate of living a healthy lifestyle, which I think is so important. And I've read that your kids have been eating organic since, for their whole lives, they basically. Have. They have. Yeah, they have. I think living in California uh, was a plus. You know, I lived right by the farmer's market. I was had access to all organic foods. But when I moved there, it really was an eye-opener. I'm not sure there's just more of that around because it's just such a healthy environment. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I just, and I mean, I won't even eat an apple if it's not organic. Why is this such an important issue to you? I don't know. I think once you start, uh, you start learning about pesticides, you learn about our soil and what's in it, why not pick an organic carrot versus one that's not? So what if it's 10 cents more? Mm -hmm. I mean, really? What is so. it, your health? I mean, yes. that's the most important yes. thing. 
so have you always then had this healthy kind of lifestyle or is this something that you discovered later in life? Because for example, for me, I recently adopted a vegetarian lifestyle, but I've been doing it for what, about two months or so now? Because girl, I grew up eating all kinds of stuff. <laughs> girl, so did honest. I. <laughs> can ravioli, exactly. tater tots. Right out the can, yeah. don't even heat it up. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> exactly. yeah, no. So no, I have not been doing this. I, it was something I learned as an adult. Yeah, okay. my parents, you know, they were hardworking middle class parents and mm -hmm. Uh, there wasn't time to to make a homemade whatever organic salad. Sure. It, it really was, you know, let's get the food on the table and eat. You know, as, as I sit here and, and talk to you and, and we have this conversation and we've talked a little bit off camera as well. I mean, I know that there are so many facets to us as women, um, but what's the one thing that you would like people to know about you that they probably don't know? Oh, that's a good question. I didn't see those in your notes. Because I didn't share <laughs> that one with you. <laughs> I wanted oh, the spontaneous, yeah. um, off-the-cuff answer. Well, I think um, people might, people just have a preconceived idea of what, you know, maybe an actress might be like, you know, a prima donna or, or whatnot. But I, I, I am so down to earth, mm -hmm. I forget that I'm even a celebrity. Like, I can't even say that. I just, yeah. I'm just, yeah, it's a hard thing I just, because I still live where I grew up mm -hmm. and moved back to Seattle. Um, I'm just kind of that hometown girl. I have my head on straight, and I have no desire to be in that Hollywood scene. Yeah, so you wouldn't move back to L.A. No. and get back into that whole, I mean, you still act, but I, you do it on your terms. I do. And you I raise fly, your kids in yes. a kind of a more Yeah, I have a huge family. I have tons of aunts and uncles. My kids are go to school with their cousins. And oh, uh, nice. I just, yeah, I commute. I commute to Burbank for The Secret Life. And it's uh, working out great. Not to say, never say never, that I would move back to LA if I needed to work there for whatever reason. But um, yeah, I like I like my home my hometown roots. Oh well, she's beautiful and she's humble and she eats organic and she's all those things that we want to be when we grow up. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by this morning. Thank you. Appreciate seeing you. And for more information on Josie's book, the projects she's working on, or her organic natural lifestyle, please visit the website josiebissette.com.